Good afternoon class. Good afternoon everyone. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to create a customized keychain in FreeCAD. First, after opening the FreeCAD, you click create new. Click this one. Next, select a workbench by simply clicking this arrow. And then, select or click the part design. Okay, after clicking the part design, you need to create a body. So, click this one and then create sketch. Okay, so now you select the plane where you're going to create your keychain. Okay, so click XY plane and then click OK. Okay, so after selecting the XY plane, you select a shape you want for your keychain. So, any shape you want. If you want heart shape, rounded rectangle, rectangle, circle. Okay, so octagon here for other shapes. Uh, for instance, I want to select this rounded rectangle. Click this one. And then... Hold down your left mouse button to draw your rounded rectangle. Then, release your mouse and then click. Okay. Then, after clicking, you need to, to stop activating the rounded rectangle. You press right the right mouse button. Right click. Okay. So, now it stops the rounded rectangle active tool okay so next you set the dimension for instance for your horizontal distance you click, click this one and then select here constrain horizontal distance select this one and then uh, for instance you need to type 80 millimeter and then you click okay so for the height or the vertical distance you select this point and here click you can see it is selected because it is color green you can zoom by simply rolling the, the scroll on the mouse the mouse wheel you can see it is selected because it is green so this time you click here for the constrained vertical distance click this one to set your vertical distance so for instance you set for 30 so i think 30 is just an estimated for one inch in an in inches for conversion okay then you click okay so now you scroll you zoom out by simply ruling the mouse wheel and then this time is you create a circle for a hole in your keychain you're going to attach your keys okay so for instance to draw a circle select here this arrow and then select this center and rim point click this one and then you can draw the circle here okay so for instance hold down your left mouse button then drag to create a circle okay so then release and then click to draw a circle so to set the radius for the circle you right click first to stop the circle right click anywhere right click to stop activating the circle and then uh, select here and then i mean select first the circle click uh, that means it is selected because it is color green click here and then constrain auto radius or diameter okay set this one to 10 millimeter okay your hole okay click okay okay so you have already your planning for a hole in your keychain so next thing you are going to do is to click close click close so that you can pad this sketch okay so next you click this button this pad click this one and then you set the pad length to for instance to seven only the this is actually the thickness of the pad okay so seven seven millimeter and then you click okay 
Okay, after that, you're going to customize this keychain. So, you need to go back to the top view here. Click this one to set for the top view. And then you click, you go to the draft workbench by clicking here. Scroll up and then click the draft. Okay, so next in the draft tool, you're going to customize your keychain. So for instance, you write your name here or initials. Okay, so for instance, you click the shape from text, this S. Click this one. You make sure that you are selecting the top top view and then here for the string box this is actually the text that will come out when you click okay so you type the text you want to display on your keychain chain for, for instance this one and then the height actually is the size of your text okay so this is the size of your text for instance uh, 11 and then here the font file you're going to click these three dots to browse for the font you like to display on your keychain so you click this one so if you have already downloaded fonts online so you can you search online for free fonts and then after downloading you browse it where you save your Font. You make sure you extract the font if it is you download you downloaded it in a compressed file or zip file. Okay, so you extract. So after you extract, you just open the zip folder and copy the TTF or the font file and then paste it to another folder. Okay, so for instance, this one, this is my font. The file extension for fonts is this one, TTF or true type font. Okay, so this is also a font. Select this one for instance. And then you click open. Okay, so after you click open, you click OK here. Okay, so you have already the font. So to move this font here to the center, you just click this one, this move tool. Click here, make sure you are on, on the draft workbench and then you can move this one by simply for instance you point here your mouse and then you drag here then release then click okay so for instance that's how to move your text on the screen okay so to control this one or to move since the text is at the bottom layer of the shape so you need to move the text forward okay so to move the text forward you simply click here at the model and select the shape string click this one and then here scroll down select this data you make sure you're on the data and then select this placement here this is actually the access you adjust the three axes for the placement so if you want to move this text up so that uh, it will not cover or to move this to front you click here at position here so that is actually on the z so you increase this one for instance to five okay then you click click here okay again for example you click this arrow up to move to 10 click here okay so you have already the text in front of the this shape okay so 
Next, you can also move this text by simply uh, going back to data here. Click this shape string. For instance, you are going to move the Y axis. Okay, so that's how to move the text. Uh, for instance, you're going to center here and you're going to also to move the X axis. Here, for example, you're going to subtract here by clicking. Okay, so that's how to control the to move from X to Y axis. Here, for instance, you're going to move this up. Okay, so for instance, you are satisfied with that, coordinate with your text. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is to click here and then select this shape string and then go back to the part design workbench so so that you can uh, 3d this text click here and then go back to part workbench and then select this extrude so meaning you are selecting the text now click this one to extrude the text and then along adjust the length this is actually the thickness of the text you're going to to extrude okay so for instance you extrude only for four millimeter and then you click apply and then you click okay so this time uh, you can rotate this one by simply holding down the first the mouse wheel and the right mouse button to rotate so if you cannot rotate this is actually a defective mouse so i'm going to use the touchpad so click here select here because i am using the laptop i'm going to use the touchpad to rotate to check if i have already a 3d text and shape okay here this is how to use the touchpad at the bottom you hold down the alt to zoom and then shift to rotate so for instance i'm going to rotate this one uh, holding down the alt and then i position the mouse here and then hold down the alt and then rotate to look for if you have already a 3d design for uh, your text and shape so now uh, you can now try to print this one on a 3d printer so this is how it looks okay for instance in this case it's actually the text is uh, not connected to the there is a, an interval space of the text and the pad okay your keychain so how how to adjust this one okay so you can adjust that one by simply going back to the model and then click the sketch i mean look for the text the extruded text this shape string and then you're going to adjust the z axis here okay so let us try to adjust okay so that's how to move for instance you're going to adjust this one to six click this one and then click here okay look it already moved the text and connect it to the pad okay so to rotate you can hold down the alt on your touchpad and then rotate okay see you, you have already connected the text to the touchpad so now this is now ready to print for in a 3d printer okay so if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so that you will be updated of all the video tutorials and updates and templates that i'm going to upload in my channel thank you so much for watching